Hi, I'm Sarah from the upcoming. A real pleasure to have you here with us at the film festival. Can you kick off with an intro to your film, Last Swim? What can people expect when they watch it? So, Last Swim is a coming of age story uh, about this group of young people told on A Level Results Day, led by the main character, Zeba, who is concealing something that's going on with her. Um, so, she uh, plans this one last taste of adolescence and drags her friends uh, on a journey through London. Um, what gave you the inspiration for the film, and why was this the right story for your? Future debut. I'm born and raised in London and growing up around the time I discovered my love of cinema in the 90s and early noughties, all the coming of age stories seemed to be American. Uh, there was nothing British that, that represented my experience of growing up here. So I kind of always wanted my first film to, to tap into that. British films tend to have this reputation for look, looking very grey and, and monochromatic. And I wanted to do something that taps into the energy of London in the summer because I think the city does a complete 180, we behave differently and the, and there's a beautiful sense of colour as well. The city really like lives and breathes. Uh, so I wanted to tap into that and explore that with my first film. Yeah. And how did you go about your casting process and particularly for your protagonist and how did you work with them to achieve your vision? Zeba is played by Deba Hekmat who I had worked with on a music video a few years prior. Um, so when I was writing the character I kind of had a sense of how she should look and I had Deba in mind but then of course she had to come in she was one of you know 20 British Iranian actresses that we looked at and she just did this mo the most incredible performance in her, her audition and she won us over that day and then we built around her so then uh, I wanted to have um, actors as close to the character ages as possible again those American films they always cast 30 year olds to play 18 year olds so I really wanted a young cast and we brought everyone together and they became really close and I think you feel that chemistry in the film speaking to them all you know they're all saying the same thing like yeah. they just had such a laugh on set you know and all the bad and everything. Um, so what were some of the highlights from your perspective, but maybe also some of the challenging moments? The highlights were we filmed in some really like high profile locations and I had to stop and enjoy it. Like one of the, we got to film on Westminster Bridge, like in the epicenter of London. So uh, some of the locations were just, yeah, it was really fantastic. The challenges, uh, I guess, is just the relentlessness of a film schedule over like, you know, we shot for 21 days. It was a very ambitious film and I'd never been used to something that required so much endurance um, but I loved every minute of it yeah it was a, a real gift what do you hope people take away from watching the film I mean like you say it's kind of capturing London in the sunshine a bit of a love letter to London also kind of something that very authentic about the way young people are today and the diversity of London um, and yeah. what do you think the takeaways might be I hope the young people who see the film uh, see themselves represented in it um, and, and I guess for older audiences like, like myself, that they feel nostalgic for that point in their lives when they were leaving school, they were kind of taking a step into the unknown. Um, the film is trying to kind of capture that sense of youth, so if they see themselves in it and it makes them nostalgic for their own their own periods of life, you know, that's that's what I'm going for. Yeah. And what does it mean to you to have the film here at London Film Festival? I mean, it seems there's no no better place for it to have its UK premiere. Yeah, it really feels like we're coming home. Like, I'm born and raised in London. Most of the team are from London. You know, when we were making it, we d dreamt of having our UK premiere here. So that the fact that it's happened uh, or it's about to happen just is a dream come true. Um, so we're chuffed, we're really over the moon and we're going to we're going to enjoy it. And how do you see the health of sort of like the UK British filmmaker industry, you know, the landscape right now? I mean, I guess people are putting films like this alongside like Rye Lane or How to Have yeah. Sex. So it does really feel like it's an exciting time for, for British film. But, you know, are there still some barriers there in terms of who gets to make films, who gets the bigger budgets, etc, etc? So the last few years, I think, has been a great year for British debuts. You may mention Rye Lane, How to Have Sex, After Sun as well. Um, and, and last year was a really strong year also. I think that London or Britain in general is so saturated with incredible talent and that's a really source of inspiration to me and, and you see that everywhere not just actors but writers and directors yeah there's all I mean it's always a fight to get your first films made and I know the industry is a little bit of a difficult place but I'm hoping with the new tax credit that gives the industry a little bit of a boost but the work that's being done is, is really inspirational to me and I think the future looks bright when you look at the great debuts that have come in the last few years yeah. And what's going to be next for you? We've got another film in mind. What are you going to take away from this experience to that one? So I'm trying to keep the band together for the next one. And it's kind of the, uh, 
the sophomore film is like the anti-companion piece to this. So last film is very much about youth and the beauty of femininity. The next film is about toxic masculinity. So we're going the other way. Yeah. Um, and we hope, to, we hope to shoot that in the next couple of years. Yeah. Amazing. Well, best of luck with that. And of yeah. course, really enjoy tonight. Congratulations on the film. Thanks Thank for your time. So nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.